Hi everyone, welcome to today's run. So today we started out in the dark again because um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this head torch uh, which I got last week for the marathon. So if you didn't see that video, I'll put a link so you can go and check that out. But I picked this head torch up for that because I was starting early in the morning and I knew it was going to be dark. So yeah. So basically, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information on the torch because when I was looking at what head torches to buy, um, couldn't really find any good videos on it. And the videos that I did manage to find weren't in English. <laughs> so I just sort of had to just go off what they were showing you. But the only other thing that I noticed as well as the language barrier was the fact that they didn't really show you the torch in use they just sort of like had it out in the room and then like unboxed it and was like turn it on and off and that was about it I mean obviously they might have been speaking about it <laughs> but I couldn't really understand what they were saying so I couldn't tell you but uh, I thought I'd just uh, show you guys the torch in action um, if you're interested in buying it yourself it's from Decathlon it cost uh, 29 99 I think it's uh, rechargeable it has two LEDs so one's like a warm glowing light for close up um, so you can turn that on if you're reading maps or if you're out running with uh, other people and you don't want to blind them so basically it's a uh, sort of acts like a red light on other brands so you have that one and then you have the main spotlight which is right on the top and it has two settings I think it's 150 lumens and then it goes up to 300 lumens which is quite bright so what I'll do is I'll drop a little bit of fuel gym for you so you can uh, have a look at that uh, get a feel for what the light's like in the dark so enjoy that and I'll see you in a bit so this is setting number one on the head torch it's like a floodlight setting it's like a warm glow light it just sort of drops some light around you so throw things up closer if you're reading a map or whatever if you don't want to blind other people if you're running out with different people this is a floodlight so this is setting number one and then if we flick to setting number two, which is push it down, that's setting number two there, and that is a spot. Um, reasonably bright actually, to be fair, this would probably do for most um, situations. So yeah, that's the spot, and that's sort of, sort of how far, that's about the distance there, so that's about five meters in front of me, that probably and then it starts to fade out. And then if I flick to the main light, which is full beam there, that probably gives you about 10 to 15 meters of light. So a much brighter spot there. So you can see a lot of distance. And it also has a bit of light bleed as well, which means you can have the spot out in front of you and then it also lights up around your feet so you don't have to look directly down at your feet which is nice so yeah the different light settings okay hope you enjoyed that footage it was useful for you um one other thing as i mentioned before the head torch is rechargeable so it has a battery pack here on the back of your head uh, it's a micro usb plugs into it and it also has battery level indicator light which is like a, I think a set of like five little LEDs that light up uh, as it charges to give you like a power bar um, so yeah that's quite a good design I know a lot of other brands they just have like a set of blinking LEDs that don't really give you sort of a visual indication of where your battery level's at it's sort of like here's two flashes and that means you're somewhere between 30 
and 60% or whatever, which is okay. I mean, it's better than nothing, but it's not very handy <laughs> when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're wondering exactly what your battery's like, because you could have an hour of light or you could have five minutes. <laughs> so I think it's good to actually see how much battery you have visualized like that. Gives you peace of mind. <laughs> It's just nice and design all round, really. Don't know why other companies haven't done something similar. Yeah, so that's a bonus for it. Um, in conclusion, though, I've been very, very pleased with the head torch. 300 lumens is more than enough, I think, for what you need. I mean, you can get some like 700. I mean, at that stage, you may as well be walking on the surface of the bloody sun. It's so bright. Uh, I think 300 lumens is more than enough for one person going out on the trails in the dark. And I mean, I took it out in woodland, so there was literally no moonlight, no ambient light at all. And I could see all the tree stumps and everything fine. So it's perfect. So if you're interested in buying the torch, I'll drop a link to it below. And you can go and have a look and spend your money on it but yeah that's a little review of the torch uh, hope you enjoyed it and now we're going to get on with some running so let's do it here we go Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there for today's video. Uh, hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've enjoyed the little review of the head torch. Uh, hope that was handy for you. If you decide to purchase it, let me know. Just drop a comment below or send me a tweet. Um, but yeah, that's it for the running. I've got nine kilometers back, just done 12, so not too bad. Um, one more thing I just wanna say as well before I leave you is I'm still collecting money over on my uh, Just Giving page for mine charity. I started collecting that money last week for my marathon and I decided to keep the page open just for the rest of the month while Runner still has the Leave Nothing But Footprints event going. So I'll keep it going. So if you still wanna donate, you can. Links to that will be below in the description box. So far we're at 336 pounds, I think, last time I checked. That was on Friday, so I'm filming this on Sunday, so a couple of days ago, 336 pounds, which is really, really amazing. 
So thank you everyone that's donated. Uh, all that money, as I say, goes to a great course. So I'm sure they'll be really grateful when they receive that cash. So thank you for donating if you already have. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today. If you'd like today's video, please press the like button and also consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this one. That's it for now. Take care everyone, stay safe, and I'll see you in another video.